You're listening to your local station, 88.6 Plenty Valley FM, and this is Wellbeing Wednesdays with Snej. First up, I have my weekly recipe share where I'll talk you through a new recipe that you... So, so now with this recipe, I am going to go a little bit slower this week so you can actually write down the ingredients or you can go on to uh, my Facebook group and I have posted a picture of these delicious muffins as well as the recipe and then you can take a look or download it later and um, have it as part of your recipes. Now, with this recipe, it is a flourless chocolate muffin recipe. Now, what I love about this recipe is that you will see in the ingredients when I go through them in a minute that there is no flour. So it is flourless, hence the name. (laughs) So, and this can be really important, especially if you're trying to avoid gluten or if we are trying to reduce the calorie intake from the carbohydrate, then we can uh, swap out that flour and you'll see what we, how we put it together instead. The other thing that I love about this recipe is that it has peanut butter in it. So if anyone is out there that has an allergy to peanut butter or has kids that can't have peanut butter, then you can swap that out for a different nut if that is suitable. Or if you need to remove nuts completely, then you can swap it out for sesame seeds or tahini, which is uh, just a seed version that usually people cope with a little bit better. It's also higher in protein, which is another great thing about this recipe. It does have less calories because we have taken out that carbohydrate component and it does have good fats in it. So you let's have a look at the ingredients now. So I will go through them nice and uh, slowly. If you want to grab yourself a pen or paper, do that now. I'll talk for a couple of seconds just so that you've got time to grab something if you are wanting to write it down. Or as I said, head to the Facebook page now, open it up, Wellbeing Wednesdays with Snej, and you should be able to find it there. What I love to do when I'm taking notes or things that I want to remember, I also do use the notes pages in my phone. So if you want to just flick your phone open and you can start taking the notes. Okay, ready to go? So first ingredient is three bananas. Okay, so three bananas chopped up. We want a tablespoon of lemon juice. Then we also want to add in two eggs. So we've got three bananas one tablespoon of lemon juice, three eggs, four tablespoons of honey. So it is higher in protein, so we've got two eggs. I normally put one egg when I'm making muffins. That's going to make it a little bit thicker and more protein dense. Then we've also got 200 grams of peanut butter, four tablespoons of cacao powder. Now we're using cacao powder and not cocoa. So they, even though they come from the cacao bean, they are actually two very different things in the way that they're processed. And normally cocoa does have added sugar in it, whereas cacao is pure cacao bean ground down. The other thing that you then will need to help them rise is one teaspoon of baking soda. And this is an extra little bit if you were wanting to use some dark chocolate just to sprinkle over the top. Okay, so you can see there also isn't any white sugar in there. So the sweetness in this recipe is coming from the bananas as well as from the honey. Okay, so all you're going to do is preheat your oven. It's the first thing that you need to do. Line a muffin tin with your paper muffin cups. Get all that ready to go. Then place your chopped bananas into a bowl and drizzle them with lemon juice. And then add in the eggs, honey, peanut butter, and mash everything together with a fork. Or you can use a food processor processor or blender if you choose. Next, add the cacao powder and the baking soda, and then just whisk it all together. Now, I love to do baking. I don't always understand the ins and outs of why you combine certain things. And I oftentimes find that something like this. I'd probably just throw all the ingredients together, but taking your time to do those steps, I find always creates a bit of consistency and they, the muffins will always rise better. So three bananas, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two eggs, four tablespoons of honey, 200 grams of peanut butter, 
four tablespoons of cacao powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, mix it all together, put it into your muffin trays or muffin cups, and then you are ready to bake it. And what I love about muffins is because they're all the individual portions, they're made quickly and oftentimes I'll make them fresh in the morning when I get up and I'm packing lunches for my three boys. I find that, uh, and I wouldn't put this one in there, in this one, this recipe in particular in their lunch boxes with the peanuts. However, um, I will oftentimes make them some muffins in the morning and because they're just so easy and quick to cook. So pop them in the oven and then within 18 20 to 20 minutes, you have got a delicious chocolate muffin that is lower in carbohydrates and sugars and higher in proteins and good fats. And oftentimes um, when I'm helping people with, with healthy eating, I always get the question about, oh, can we have muffins and isn't that a a poor choice to make? And my feedback to that is, is that it's really important to, um, especially if you're baking yourself, swap out some of the ingredients like we have today so that you're increasing the nutritional value of whatever you're baking. So if you're going to be using, for example, you know, white flour and white sugar in your muffin recipes, then it's probably not the best version. But if you can swap that out and use honey or banana or um, coconut sugar or brown sugar, and then you can add in uh, some seeds in it to increase the nutritional value. All of a sudden, you change that particular snack. And the other thing with having muffins as a snack and other baked goods, they do tend to become unhealthier versions when we have too much of them. Okay, so the trick here is to have one muffin, use it as a snack, and make sure that you're not enjoying too many and share them around. So give that a go. That's a pretty simple recipe and you'll be quite surprised at how well they will rise even though they don't have the flour and the nice um, fluffiness that they will actually have about them. So that's my recipe for today. Now remember you can find this recipe online on my Facebook uh, page, Wellbeing Wednesdays with Snej. You can uh, take a look at it there and next week I will be back with uh, a recipe that has been asked for me to share and that is my jam recipe. So next week I will be talking you through how to make a delicious raspberry jam with only three ingredients.